Welcome to another Tech Tuesday at FiTech, students. Today we're going to learn how AFR Learn and Trim work. So there you go with all the information that you should need to understand how the fuel injection is working, it's learning, it's trimming, and it's making the engine get the proper air fuel ratio for that operating condition. We're going to go to the car and kind of demonstrate some of these ideas so that you get a real understanding of what's actually happening on the engine. So you can see at idle, my AFR learn is minus 15.6%. On a learn table over here, it's idle. So uh, that's the same thing. Minus 11.7 is 88.2%. Is one centered around zero, one centered around 100. It's the same thing. Um, just you know, maybe a little point of confusion. I'm going to go to a different load condition by just rolling the car on the dyno. You can see the AFR is close to the target. It's making about 3%, 0% adjustments. When I light load, the AFR target's going to be like 14.3. When I get heavy loads, it's in the 12 sixes. You can see on the screen down here at the bottom where a fuel cutoff goes full lean. That's just air. That's nothing to worry about. We get on the throttle. It'll be a little rich and then it'll come back. Cut off again, you're probably no, just coasting down, not cut off. You can see it's correcting minus 17% in a deceleration zone, which is not that important. Now it goes back to the idle AFR target. But I can see on my uh, fuel adapt map. 4,075 kPa has got a 65%, which is a minus yeah, 35% fuel learn. I don't know how accurate that is because it's very rarely going to be anywhere near that load condition. Let me see if I can get it on the dyno here real 